Brought to you by Excel, makers of inexpensive and high quality Windows and Android tablets. Great gadgets for less. Hey everybody, it's Lon Sybin. We are back at the Synology booth. We looked at a couple of consumer facing devices and now if you are like a mega consumer or a business, this might be of more interest. How many bays are on here? I can't, it's, I can't even count. <laughs> so right here we have the DS2015X. This is uh, re uh, this is shipping now. And this is an eight bay solution. So you can use uh, two and a half or three and a half inch drive trays and you just, we have those little slots right here. You can stick in a couple of SSDs. Mainly I would say you can use the SSDs for SSD caching to help improve the uh, random uh, IOPS performance on the, uh, when you're accessing with many users on the network. So one great advantage with the DS2015 XS is that it's Synology's first platform to feature dual 10 gig Ethernet on the back. Wow, so let's flip that around here. All right. So as you can see right here, we have two 10 gig Ethernet ports right here. We got two 1 gig Ethernet ports available as well. Can you use them all at the same time? You can use all of them at the same time if you want to. If you have the network to do it, you can. However, I would recommend you deploy this for core aggregation, for businesses that want to utilize the full capability of those 10 gig ports. And what core aggregation is, is where you take the two 10 gig ports, you lag them together, that's 20 gigabits of aggregate performance. What does that mean? It means that you can have 21 gig Ethernet computers and they can all operate at their full bandwidth capability of that one gig Ethernet. You can effectively saturate the network links that way. So a, it's a really a storage device and a, and a pretty high-end server all it, in one, one box. It is a high-end uh, storage server, high performance, and with core aggregation, you can use it for, say, creative multimedia environments, video editing, photo editing. All those applications require a lot of bandwidth, and they need a lot of network performance. This is a platform for it if you have like a little creative multimedia office. And this is new at the show? This is new at the show, and it's shipping now. Shipping now, and, how, and this runs the Synology operating system, so so everything we can do on all the other ones are in here as well? That is correct. So this is running the same Synology DSM experience for all for all Synology platforms. So with this, you can still have SSD caching. You can use Synology high availability. And with Synology high availability, that's where you use two of them together to build an active passive relationship to, mini to maximize your uptime. Basically, it's minimizing your downtime for your business. And we have, and of course, you have CloudStation is available, so you can build your own little private cloud, share data with various offices, and sync files and data between all your mobile devices and computers around the world. So it's pretty high end there. And what's, what do we got under the hood for the processor and RAM on this? This one is based on an ARM processor, but okay. which comes with the integrated 10 gig ethernet. Okay, so it's a specially designed it's, ARM kind of thing. Yeah, How much RAM? It comes with four gigs of RAM, okay. and you can expand it with eight gigs of, ma uh, max it out to eight gigs of RAM. So if you're running a lot of applications in the background or something, that yeah, would... Yeah, if you're running a lot of applications, so if you're if you're looking at, say, using, you want to use the SSD caching, you want to have more SSD caching, say you have 256 gig of SSD cache or a gig of, or, or a terabyte of SSD cache, more RAM will definitely help out that aspect. And why would you know why would someone choose an ARM-based device over an Intel one? So you do have, you have some stuff running Intel also. What's what's the, what, what have you found to be the reason? So the biggest the biggest concern is that we have plenty of our customers who want to use 10 gig technology, but when you're looking at that, originally you're looking at the one of the other uh, was it one of the other XS systems? You're probably looking at three thousand dollars or something like right. that. Right. This one we're bringing it under or around fifteen hundred dollars retail for this platform. So we're just making 10 gig more accessible to small businesses. And there's plenty of customers out there that want the 10 gig capability. This is a platform for it. So now the less expensive ARM chips are capable of doing this kind of yes. this speed. Now yeah. that makes it accessible. Makes so it accessible for small business. Fifteen hundred bucks, driveless. Yep. Um, driveless. You, you probably would pay that much for a server anyhow, I would guess, right? Pretty much. Or well, actually, probably a little bit more. A little more, more a little right? Yeah, more, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Depending on what you're doing, but and then you just pop the drives in, and then I guess you could do a massive like uh, RAID zero and just see how fast you can get it. If right? you want to do RAID zero, <laughs> although personally I probably wouldn't <laughs> yeah, recommend right. it. Not with eight drives, right? Not yeah. with eight drives. That's pretty. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty. Uh, a little risky for yeah, my taste. Right. But, so you can do eight drives, you can do rate zero, one, five, six, uh, ten, and uh, you can also enable global hot spare with that so you have a little bit extra uh, uptime when a drive has a problem. You can do up to six terabytes per bay. And also with this is that this is a scalable product. So right here we have the expansion port right here. This is this can scale up with our 12 bay expansion unit, and that's how you get 26 terabyte drives of storage all managed under one system on the network. This is one of those things where I don't need this at home, but it just would be cool to like to see how many how many hard drives I can have running, <laughs> you, storing you, everything. You know? Yeah, <laughs> I fit everything onto a, a two bay 214 SE right now, but uh, it's good to know we can keep upgrading up until there's no end you, to the to what we can upgrade to here. There's is there? practically <laughs> the sky's the limit with our, with Synology. Great. Well, thank you very much for your time, Frank. Thank you, Lon. Thanks.